Today we are going to be doing this makeup look and I am Rosewood Dior. That's what I have on my eyes, my lip, but you'll see my thoughts while applying this. Also we are going to be playing with the new NARS Brightening Concealer Under Eye product. You'll see my thoughts on that. A new product, which is the NARS. I have the NARS uh, Light Reflecting Eye Brightener and I got it in the color Golden Eye with this. This is the Sephora 57 brush. The pigmentation is good. Very creamy, but yet um, dense. And the, okay, so I have this one. Um, mine is in the color Custer. Um, they're a concealer, um, medium Custer, soft matte. So this is a matte concealer, and I, that's what I used to um, outline my eyebrows. And it is really, really. Uh, intense um, full cover this one is a little less and it's more creamy but I can see that it does cover so I think that this is just a softer more luminous than this one that's the difference between them so it's more creamy. I just put a moisturizer in this to make this. That's what it feels like. And so like they just diluted this one. It's what I, that's my observation of it. Because I just used this for my eyebrows. I don't think it's a brightener. Like it's a concealer with like a more moisturizing concealer. And this thing is expensive, right? But this one has lasted me a long time. Like the co it because the color is so concentrated, you don't need much. Because with this one, I never regretted purchasing this concealer because I've had it for a while. And every time I if I want to cover something, if I want something to be intense, this is where I go. I don't go anywhere else. Yeah, it covers like 50% less than this one. This is already 50% 50, 50 less than this in terms of coverage. And if you use it with a damp sponge, you will get even less than 50% of this. So I don't, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I like the color, the color is perfect, it's good. But what it's doing, no. Okay, I'm gonna put, now I'm gonna go um, tr now with the Elf Camel uh, CC cream. This is my second time using it. 310 and this is SPF 30. This is a very yellow yellow um, foundation. If you are not into yellow foundations, this is not it. If you want a neutral foundation, this is not it. But for me, I like it. I like the yellow. Uh, because it, for me it looks like it's tan. I look more tan. Going on with the lipstick. First class. We're going to do first class today. So that's what that looks like. A red. Lip boom. Now this is, I think this is more of the, the classic red. Yeah, you can see the difference. This is more of a bluish red, and this is a more of a like a the classic red. I'm gonna go with first class. So you can see the color. 
now I'm going to do the outline using uh, Ariel and Morphe uh, brush. Oh, wow, it is first class. Now the reason I'm putting a lipstick on right now is, like I always do, is because I want to observe it through the whole video, see if it, what it does. Because I am very picky with lipsticks. Okay, so that was first class. I love the color though. The color is beautiful. I'm going to do a blush and I am doing the blush now without any bronzer or contouring nothing. All I've put, all that is on my face is the foundation, not even primer, so in my eyebrows and um, this product. Okay, so Dior. Dior has rose wood and I'm trying... So that's that's rosewood. And to be honest, this is very a ba very basic color, which is why I brought out two red lipsticks because you with a basic blush you can do red lipstick. You can't do like bright popping blush and a red lipstick. Very boring and basic. But let's see Dior. Let's see if there's a gem in here. So far, I'm not impressed. I see a little hint of orange in here, which is my favorite. Oh my god, this is like, this color, drugstore blushes, have it in abundance. Every Revlon, L'Oreal, um, Elf, all the brands have this basic color. Okay, so this is supposed to be a blush that reacts to your phd or your warmth or something so that's another reason why i'm putting it on right now so you can show me what what your gift is okay so i put a lot oh, look at this okay so golden eye light reflecting eye brightener that's what it is light reflecting okay well if it's gonna reflect light the luminous side of it is what's reflecting the light we don't want reflecting lights here so I don't know where NARS was going with that second if I powder this it's not gonna be if it's touched it comes off so it doesn't self-set, which I was not expecting it to. But how are you supposed to have a luminous... Like, if I powder this, this is not going to be luminous. So we're going to do that right now. I'm going to go back into this, and um, I'm going to put some more on this. I am already not not convinced like okay with this product I'm not I'm not in love with this product already so I like the color the shade is is great okay now I'm going to powder it with luminous is gone yep it looks like a full cover 
this is not looking good oh my god that is not good you know what I am so not impressed with it that I am gonna remove the other side and gonna put another concealer on here go into another new product for me a product new to me uh, which is the makeup forever HD ultra HD ultra HD light capturing self setting concealer okay that there it is okay that was the English in Canada everything is English and French because French is our second official language yeah, so all, all, all the products that come into Canada has to have a French label description everything has to be French and English mandatory so a lot of the times I read slowly because I'm like wait is this French or is this English that I'm reading okay so I'm gonna um, okay what color I got it in vanilla so I got this it's not new but it's not that old like it came out a few months ago I believe like I remember hearing people talking about it not too long ago and so but I didn't get it because I'm like oh there was something else that I wanted to so um but it was on sale for $19 so I'm like yeah I'll try it it's looking yellow which I love I have a sparkle right here with the mouth. Oh, vanilla. I like it. Oh, 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 okay. My favorite Huda brush. So this is self setting. Wow. That's a big claim especially for a concealer because it's going in an area that moves the most the eye it feels light but it's um it feels ha right now it's medium cover and I feel I can make it into a almost full coverage um, because I really spread it all around. Okay, I'm gonna let me see. Okay, I'll let, I'm gonna let that just um, set for a little bit. I'm gonna blend this in with what's left in here. This is basic AF. <laughs> oh my God. Really, Dior? Come on, no. I know that, okay, yeah, it's a, it's a popular, safe color, but make it special. This is horrible. I don't even wanna keep it on. Okay, so I feel like this has already set, like it dried. So I'm gonna go in with a second application here and here. I would let I usually let my concealers dry but this one I noticed that it dried fairly quick so I'm gonna go in there and just spread it a little bit okay now I'm gonna let that dry I feel like you need quite a bit of this uh, concealer for for it to cover good. And I'm not so impressed so far. Patrick Ta's nose contouring, and I'm gonna go here quickly. 
okay so this is the color fair Huda still like this is one of the best contouring products contouring contouring and bronzing powders in the market still see this is one of the products that has me convinced that Huda delivers um, this product has not been there's nothing better than this product people have other uh, brands have um, released similar things but nothing nothing compares to this because or like they've duped it if there's anything similar that has come after this it's been it's a dupe they've been trying to have market shares of this um so for that reason i would say if you're looking for a product a like a cream bronzer contouring thing consider this one over I would I would recommend this because of the price and because of the value over the Chanel my beloved Chanel cream bronzer which I have several videos on my channel on that with that product I have all the, the three colors that Chanel has and um, I have comparisons and applications and all kinds of videos in that product and I love it it's such a um, it's so nice to use it you know to apply I put too much in there but okay we're gonna mm -mm. okay I'm gonna go in here and uh, just take it off a little bit maybe um, yeah and the reason why I would recommend this over the Chanel Chanel if you want luxury if you want a Chanel product that cream bronzer is one of the best in Chanel beauty however if you want um, if you don't care about the name if you don't care about that it's not like if you want a Chanel you want top luxury name brand all this go for that one the cream bronzer and check all the reviews I have on it application cons compares I compare it to this actually as well because I have I think I have three of these shades and I compared it to that to this to all those three of these and Chanel's and many other bronzers and okay so if you don't care that it that, like if you don't care that it's Chanel and you just want a cream uh, contouring thing this one is one of the top in the market because the value is there like Huda is not charging you for packaging Chanel is and their name Huda is not this is her packaging super simple but the product that's where the value is so if you want what you're gonna be applying your you want the product the actual product to have all the value in it what you're paying is for the product not the packaging not the brand name this one is it because because it is so concentrated I'll show you okay so I put some in there okay I'm gonna um, maybe just remove it a little bit over here because I it, like it weren't too much so okay so with this product you're guaranteed to get concentration applied um, okay I, I'm just I want I think I want to um, fix this a little bit let me um, go back into okay I'll, I'll do this okay sorry for keeping you waiting but I am going to show you and hopefully I don't forget <laughs> what I was talking about okay I just don't want to look like a doofus while I'm, I'm showing you. <laughs> okay, so, oh yeah, I, I remember. I'm gonna, um, so I'm gonna use this. Swipe it in here. Pick that up. Look at that. With just a little quick swipe, 
if you want to just contour your your face that is all you need and so here's the thing you only have to pick up a little bit to get results to get what you want like you like with the Chanel you have to really go in there to have be cut okay maybe not with a dark one with a 295 Chanel but that one is a bit patchy at least mine is I don't know if they have fixed it now but you get your money's worth with this product that is why it's one of my favorite in the market and because Huda like you hear me say in my channel that I love Huda product like I'm when she releases something I am interested because when she makes something it's like the lady really looks at the product and be like is this the best I can put out there is this going to accomplish what I want but these ones are neutral when she brought these out the market the cosmetic market the beauty industry at Sephora the brands at Sephora were had still not figured out the undertones some of them were too red some of them were too um, gray she came in the middle and be like bang this is how it's done neutral for everybody right um, so and like it's like she hit it she hit a home run and nobody has taken her out of no nobody has displaced her <laughs> from that okay I'm gonna um, so okay I'm gonna use now this is one of my favorite contouring powders or or uh, cream brushes this was exactly designed for that for this see I only put a little bit okay here I put a little bit more <laughs> than the other side but I'm gonna have to blend it in now Now this blush, we are observing what it does. So even, even um, Patrick Ta's um, contour cream and powder duo that he brought, I believe he came out after this one. And that one has a little bit too gray the, the cream is a little too gray, so that's what put me off before from it. Um, but I have since purchased it because I was just curious. Um, and it's okay because the powder does um, bring it back from that gray undertone because the powder is more golden for that reason. Um, I enjoy it. But but okay Patrick Taz is creamy so you really need the powder to set it with this one you don't like it's a more dry cream so you see like right here I could just leave it like that and not do anything else so I still have not perfected the way to use this um, this brush because I tend to apply too much always and then I have to be removing it I'm still in the process of perfecting this like I know that I should go lighter here or whatever This from far looks okay, but when you really look at it, it's basic. So basic. So this is not self-setting, but maybe it's not supposed to be for your eye. 
So I'm going to go one once again, giving this a chance, another try. And then I'm going to go in with eye things. I'm going to set it this time. I don't recommend this product. Go for this one. Okay. I'm going to go back into this one and apply it here and then set it. That's looking cakey now. See, like, you have to set it so much so that it doesn't move around. And when you're setting it, okay, first you have to put quite a bit for it to cover your under eye, your dark spots under your eyes. You have to put a lot and then you have to for sure set it so that gets rid of the luminosity and it looks cakey even with this powder that is like cloud it's very light it's i use it with other or like oh this side looks a lot better than that side okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna test the rosewood dior blush as an eyeshadow because I always want to see how versatile I'm gonna go and see. okay I'm gonna go with this one put a lot in there Yeah, you can. This is like a dusty rose. But mm, I'm not. It's not like the Gucci blush that I tried in my previous video, the pink one, where you can actually use it. Like it's. Um, the color is strong enough that you can go in here. You can go in your eyes as well but for an everyday look for like a monochromatic look something like or maybe you're you don't have if you just you got this near you and that's all you want to use you don't have time for anything grabbing other stuff for your eyes you can't do this I don't feel like it's a good value though um just because of the color like I'm not convinced with the color Just more of a silky, more of a fluffy brush. Put it, put it all over. Okay. Then I'm gonna bring it up over here. It's gonna be an all over color. Good. It would be like okay. Yeah, I got some color on my on my cheeks. And I can wear this with anything. You, you could wear this with anything. Even makeup, no makeup. You could just probably put it on, on your skin without any, maybe just with a sunblock. Um, with one of these. Perfect. Um, just concealer, a little concealer here and then put this on top. You're good. This is a very safe blush. And for a person like me that... I don't, I play with makeup. This is just too basic for me. I've seen this. I can go to the, I can go to the Walmart, um, the uh, drugstore and pick out 
four blushes that look like this. It, like it just reminds me of the 90s blushes that all the drugstore brands had. Now this lipstick I like and this is Revlon and this is Dior. So the high end is not coming through today. Let's go in with everything else. I'm going to do um, eyeliner. A very thin eyeliner today. Hopefully, because you know how it works with eyeliners. You have an idea and the eyeliner is like, no, not today. Today we're doing bold. So this eyeliner decided to do this shape and now I have to figure out how to recreate it over here. Oh my god, okay, those are very different. Okay, maybe I should do mascara. Now this is a Canadian brand, Marcel. I believe it's Canadian. And this is terrible. I got this from um I got it on Amazon. The color is nice, but it hardly goes on. I'm gonna try it. I haven't tried it. That's not bad actually. I think the first time I used it, it looks very natural. Let me I'm gonna find out the color. Okay, eye brightening beige. Eight hours hold, waterproof. Canadian Dermatology Association recognized skin health. Hypoallergenic, cool eyeliner. Eye brightener, waterproof. Okay, so what color is this? Let me find out. I hope it wasn't just in the wrapper because the wrapper went bye bye a long time ago. Um, yeah, I, I can't. I, it doesn't say. Un okay, in the NYX, this is a Wonder Pencil in the color WP01 Light. Let's see how this goes. I'm really liking how natural that looks. Yeah, that's nice too. I like both of them. Okay, I'm going to just leave it at that. Two different ones so you can see the difference. Um, The Marcel. I was about to put this in the trash. My makeup, I saw it again. And I, like I saw it after not seeing it for a while. And I was like, that was a waste of money. A Canadian brand how dare you like that we don't do stuff like that like lululemon is Canadian um, so I was so shocked <laughs> a Canadian brand that's like crap no um, so but now that I used it I'm like oh my god I like it I was in love with this hence buying two and after I bought these after buying this one that I was extremely disappointed at and this one I don't know I, I probably couldn't find this one because this one works good okay so um, after being disappointed with the Canadian Marcel brand I bought these two but these are like way intense like I probably went overhand with it I, I could probably like learn how to use it better to my liking but now that I use this, I'm like, you know what, this, with this one, I have to be careful not to overdo it. Otherwise, it can look unnatural. Because this one, you can use it as a eyeliner, like 
on top of instead of the black one I have on you can use this it is that intense that you can do it you can do an eyeliner in this color which is amazing now with this one you cannot because this is more subtle but it's perfect for the inner eye under waterline because you don't want to look like an alien um, and the NYX is fine. Let me just uh, put a little bit more because I think I didn't go here or I did and it came off. You can, you know, because you, it, uh, you know, at this moment when you're watching this, you know, <laughs> I don't remember what happened, but it's in the video. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, I like the eye situation how that came out I'm not impressed with the thing still in the lips the third or fourth of these lipstick from this brand at this line the suede it's the color stay suede ink and the one I use today is first class and I I've done um, that girl gut instinct and fire something which is my favorite um lip color which is a uh, red orange and so that's three four this is my fourth color that i've reviewed on my channel if you want to see the other uh three um you can see them in my other videos that i posted just previously to this one and in the next video i'm going to go with um lip boom this one which is um this one so today i did this color and after when i like i, I want to do it one at a time so i could do like a whole look and everything so darling this i think this is the look for today yeah that's it thank you for joining me